Good day crew and welcome to another video. This video is going to be a two-parter because I wasn't sure when I first went out but it ended up being an overnighter and there's just too much footage I wanted to show for one video. In the first part I'm dropping some crab pots, doing a bit of trolling and fishing the pal ground. Then a little bit more trolling and picking up the pots. Part 2 will be next week but for now let's get on with part 1. Oh, a much later start than I planned. I'm going to drop the crab pots in and I was planning an overnighter but I'm not sure whether I'm going to, that's going to happen now. Uh, steering is a bit funny so I checked the oil and it's low in the steering. There's still plenty to work the uh, autopilot but if the steering's a bit low I'm not sure if I'll stay out overnight. I'll see how it goes during the day and if it still looks good I might stay out overnight. If not I won't of course. And that's about three months since I dropped any crab pots, so I've got no idea where they're holding. Whether I get anything, I don't know. Oh, i get those fenders off too. So I've been in the freezer so long it can go now. Might be some crabs can get a feed out of it. Right, well, I'll fatten the crabs up for next time. This is a new lure I got from Mr. Bait. It's got a lovely action to it. We'll see how good it is in a minute. Once we get up to trolling speed, that should go down. Uh, where's the box for it? I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's a V Minnow 136 metre diver. A Venom is the brand, I think. I'm Wilson. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to show you this in a very accelerated time frame. This is one of the features I really love about having an autopilot and that is the fish hunter mode. There's lots of different scanning patterns you can use. I like the figure 8 which ends up being sort of a flower pattern by the time it's finished and that covers a lot of ground fairly thoroughly. There are other patterns. The figure of eight's not a good pattern when there's other boats around, but when you're in an open area where there's no shallow water nearby, etc., it is great. And it is perfect for scanning around the foul ground when there's no one else there. But as I say, there's lots of other patterns you can choose from. Some of them I don't use much, or if at all. Others aren't too bad if you're in narrow sort of areas. And as you can see from this, the figure eights end up being a flower pattern. And you'll notice some of the edges are being squared off. That's just because the MFD doesn't keep all the track data. It decides that the track is near enough if it, if it uh, drops out some intermediate data. And that ends up squaring off some of the corners. But anyway, if you're thinking about getting an autopilot, make sure you get one that does fish hunter mode. I'm sure they all do. Some perhaps better than others. I really love the Fruno modes. It is great. Something baby, but still got something. Oh, one of them. Yeah. They got him. Only little. Hardly worth the effort. Oh, another one of those things. Oh, they'll check the bait, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Something I'd have bite on it on the way in, so I must still have bait. Oh, I got him too! <laughs> See another little brim. Oh, 
I don't think this one's legal. Whoops, it easy. Settle down. If you want to go back in, settle down. See what you are, you're too small, you're oh, 24. Almost. Uh, where you go? Yeah, uh, coming on to its peak run now. Put some weight on that line, I think. Try and get it down amongst the fish at the bottom. Oh, there's a lot there. I might try moving too. Didn't take long. This feels like oh, feels like a better fish too. I just decided I'd have a drift. Oh yes, he's a keeper. I have to lift him in. Hope he's hooked well. Yep, he's, he's good. He's good. <sighs> yes. Interest on this other one too. How big's this one? Whoa! frantic sometimes. Get some knees on squid. I still haven't got the bloody net ready. Oh, this one's not as good. Light rod is deceptive. Oh, a little rally. Oh. Come on, don't go back there. What the hell? Could you make it any harder? Okay, you're 37. How uh, you'll do? As soon as you're the first, you'll do. Oh, I might just put you in there for a minute. Get these down again. Ah, oh, you can go back. Just drop that now, like that, because I haven't got time to do anything else. The brain spike is going bleeding. That's got him. Out of bleeding. Action. Move back to the start of my drift to see if I can pick up the bigger ones. Oh, a little grassy. Yeah, not so little either. Not too little to worry about spilleting, but I think it probably might be even legal. Got to be 30. Uh, 
that's me. Before I send him back. No, I just, just, oh. They're 29, so just shy of legal. I think you'll be another keeper. Oh, I still haven't got the net out. Damn. Oh, hey, nice. Whoa, what is it? Samson fish. He's too small then. Did not expect him here, though. Put up a nice little fight. Ooh, slimy. <laughs> Stop bouncing around. Got this hook out here. I want to measure you. Oops, lazy. A lot of foot room here at the moment. 35. Okay, you are too small. But I'll let you go. Oops. <laughs> Action on this again, I still haven't got the bloody neck put up. Yep, I got him. He's not a big guy. Now the trevally. Yeah. All right. Well, he's back. Not worth keeping. I think that's the school event that I saw swim past just under the surface before. I get some more bait out. Gotta get my net ready. Okay, it's all go. That must need a bit more weight, that other one. He's not getting any bites. <laughs> he might be baited too, of course. I'll have to check him. But I better get this net up. So I got it. In case I do need it, I think I'll put a bit more weight on here. And this is where the click thinkers come in. down again in this drift. I'll get him baited up ready for the next one. I've given these grid by someone who wasn't going to use them. I can see why they're small things. Not that fussed about small baits really. Here's another drift with a pilly on. And if nothing touches him, we'll get rid of the pilly and put some squid on. Light rod, so he may not be too big. But after sitting around for about an hour with nothing, 
had all that action to start with and an hour of nothing. It's nice to get a bite again. Certainly not a big one, though. <laughs> yes, quite small. Squirt. Still, those little ones are big ones. You are tiny. There you go. Oh, you didn't waste any time getting away. These are drifting so fast, I might put a bit more ways on that other one. I don't like the angle. It's on. Don't think it's getting all the way to the bottom. Oops, it is it. More again. Oh, that's a trail. Oops, was easy. Hmm, well, you got yourself hooked all right, didn't you? That's through the tail as well. There you go, you're tiny. Maybe I can grow up. I haven't just had a go at this rod, but I haven't taken it. Oh, it's still there. Right, yep. Oh, that's small. I got him, he's really small. No, he's just hanging on to it. Sure, got him this time. Oh, and the other one's got some interest too. What's on the sounder? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, oh mackerel. Oh. A bit on the small side, mate. Or a tail, or is it? Might be. Oh, let's have a good look. He stops digging around. Oops, it is easy all. Oh, good on you. Get right down there where you're hard to get. Yeah, that's what he is, Taylor. What is he? 37. Keep you alive for a minute while I decide what to do with you. Oh, yeah, got something on this one too. That's a better fish. Not huge, but... Ah, uh, I see foul hooked. 
way he's been. <laughs> oh, two little ones. Two little ones. Two little trebs. God, you guys don't keep doing this, I'll have to start keeping you. Cut you up for bait or something. No. Okay, one down. Other one down. I'm spiking and bleeding. I just had a little touch on the light rod. Not coming back for more though. Uh, nothing remarkable on the sounder. Woo, there we go. He did come back for more. On the other one as well. I think this is a big one. Oh, s got off. Bit me off. Whatever it was, it bit me off. I just saw a bit of silver. Bugger. All right, well, I got this one anyway. I better attend to him. Huh. Uh, two small. Oh, come on, I'm trying to get you out. Mm. You weren't hooked all that well either, were you? In the roof of your mouth. What are you? Oh, I just shit all over me. 32, so you're safe. There he goes. He put up a bit of a fight for a smaller fish. I know it was a light rod, but I did hear the drag work just a couple of little bits. A lot of head shake on this one. I don't think he's real big. Just a bit upset about being caught. Ah, uh, yep. Not big enough to keep, that's for sure. Let's just see how big you are. I'd guess about 20. Five, six, 26. Definitely not wasting any time going home. On that rod. Yep, got him. All right, yep. No. 
Oh, no, still not. Ah, got him this time. Oh, you might be alright too. Shake there. Oh, not a keeper. Not a keeper, I don't think. No. Whoops, a daisy. Just hold till I get this out of ya. I'll get you on your way. Oh, it's the least amount of travel. Very quick measure, I reckon you're around 30 something. 31. There you go. Oh, I think one was keen to go down to some of the others. Took his time about swimming deeper. Throw this down again. Oh. finished the run anyway. Oh, that's good as I could have left it up. And of course that calls for a click thinker. Oh, going through a few of these today. The Bidos. Okay, changing my camera battery and I hooked up to another uh, small squire on the light rod. He was only uh, 26 centimetres, so 
he got to go back to fight another day. I didn't have that locked in properly. It pulled it around. Ah, uh, didn't have that done up properly. It pulled it around, pulled it right out of the hole. Well, luckily I had the safety strap on and snapped the braid. I'd have the drag done up too tight, didn't I? Uh, probably a bit too tight, yeah. Bugger! Bugger, bugger, bugger! Oh, that was a wasp. Lost the lure, lost the fish. And I was in 10 to 12 metres of water, so there's no way it touched bottom, it was a fish. Bit annoying! Oops, I got a grinner. <sighs> Got enough of him for bait. A moment. I think I'll just let him go. Eric, nothing at all. Very risky, mate. This is... Well, I can stay up there. Uh, hmm. What do I do with this? This one feels heavier. It's got, it's got something in it. One keeper at least. Not sure about this fella. Definitely not. But I'll need to measure for the other one to make sure. back down where he was I guess which is pretty much where we are now oh, there's some more in here there's one Jenny though all Jennies big ones but all Jennies I'll just drop him back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bloody hell. Just a lot whether he's got anything in it or not. Oh, I've got one at least. There's a keeper. Well, he's only got one claw. Right. Check it, just to be sure, yep. Oh, it's two. 
not a great start, but as I said, I haven't been grabbing for three months, so I've got to find them again. Might head over to Peel for the night, Horseshoe Bay. It'll be nice and calm in this week. And that's it for this video. I did enjoy fishing the fowl ground. There wasn't a lot of size in the fish, but the action was sure thick and fast for a lot of the time I was out there. Had a patch in the middle for about an hour where there wasn't much happening, but then they came back on the bite for a while. When they eased off again, I decided I'd go and give the trolling a go. And I got hit by that huge fish. Whatever it was, really, really just grabbed it. And of course, you saw what happened. I lost the fish to lure and almost lost the rod if I hadn't had it tied in. So there's a lesson for you. If you're doing trolling, you got your rods out, make sure you have your safety straps on. I would have lost that rod if I hadn't. Anyway, we'll wrap up the video now. Until next time, good fishing.